In lesson 28, we're looking at complex fractions and rationalizing the denominator. Our first examples are over the complex fractions, and you're just simply applying the rules you learned when you were in grade school about fractions to rational expressions that are being divided. So the first one, we know that when we divide by a fraction that we need to flip that over and multiply by that bottom fraction. So I'm going to have A over B times B over X plus Y. And this is very nice because the B's cancel. And then our answer is just A over X plus Y. Alright, let's look at our next example. We have A over A plus B. We're going to multiply that by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction, which is A plus B over C. And our A plus B, since those are exactly the same, those cancel, and so our answer is just A over C. Okay, our next example, we're trying to rationalize the denominator. And what we need to do is multiply by the square root of 5 because we have a square root of 5 in the denominator and when we multiply the square root of 5 by itself it'll make a 5. So I'll multiply top and bottom by the square root of 5. So right now my numerator will have 3 square roots of 5 and the denominator will have 2 times 5 because I simply multiplied these two together. And then I'll still need to simplify that. That'll be 3 square root of 5. So the top is staying the same at this point. And then 2 times 5 is 10. And we can't simplify 3 and 10, so this is our answer. Okay, we're going to do that same process. On the next one, we see that we the uh, denominator has the square root of 12 beside the 3, so we need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the square root of 12. So on top I'll have 2 square roots of 12, and on bottom I'll have 3 times 12. Now, I can simplify before I multiply those out because I can simplify by the 2, so that would be a 1, and then this would be a 6, so I have the square root of 12 over 18. But then I can simplify that square root of 12 because that is 4 times 3, and there's a perfect square root of the 4, or if you'd rather break that down further, it's 2 times 2 times 3. So with those 2's, I can take out a 2. So I'll have 2 square roots of 3 over 18, and then I can simplify again by 2, so that's just going to be a 1 on top, and then on bottom I'll have a 9, so that's the square root of 3 over 9. So these, you need to remember that sometimes you'll need to simplify, but then you will get the right answer. Um, we could have simplified in the beginning, we could have seen that the square root of 12 has a 4 that divides into it, and simply said 2 over, and then taken a 2 out there, 6 square roots of 3, and then I would multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3. So 2 square roots of 3 over 6 times 3, and then I would have simplified here, that would have been a 1, and that would have been a 3, and then I would have still gotten that square root of 3 over 9. So this would have been a little bit easier, but sometimes we don't see that, and even if you go the long way around, you'll still get the right answer.